I'm fuming. I'm so angry. It's very rare that I would start a video like this. Generally, I'd do an introduction. I'd welcome Adel Oladipo, but I'm honestly not going to do that today because I'm so utterly mystified and annoyed with Gareth Southgate. Gareth Southgate has said that Phil Foden cannot play centrally, and he has basically said to anyone who disagrees, ask Pep Guardiola. Addy, mate, obviously I'm grateful for you being here, but come on. This mm. is this is like this is incitement to riot. I'm so upset by this. Yeah. It's just ridiculous, isn't it? Is it? Come on. Is it? Hang on. Phil Foden playing out wide for Manchester City. Yeah. It can be explained, can't it? Because Kevin De Bruyne has been born. Yes. Kevin De Bruyne exists. Mm. So obviously, Kevin De Bruyne, one of the best in the world, a Premier League great, one of the best in his position to have ever walked the face of the earth. Yeah, Phil Foden has to be accommodated. Kevin De Bruyne is not from England. No, it's true. It's true. The, the one thing about Phil Foden, though, in the last sort of three or four years, he's played... Force nine. You remember when they mm -hmm. had no Haaland and it was going through that transition of waiting to get a striker. He's played out on the right. He's played out on the left. He's played number 10. He's played central midfield. What is Phil Foden's best position? Like we like to think he can play a number 10, right? I, I remember when he first came through, it was like, okay, he is David Silva's replacement. Mm. Guaranteed it's that. Hasn't become that. I, I sit here today with Phil Foden. I still think one of the best talents in world football and I still don't know what his best position is. No, still don't know. No, I think we could debate his best position. Yeah. But I think his best position becomes apparent when you look at who else is around. Yeah. So for Manchester City, his best position won't be central because Kevin De Bruyne is there and Bernardo Silva's around and it's very difficult to get into those positions. But you've always said, Rory, you've always said England, Gareth Southgate should pick the players based on where they play for their clubs. No, not necessarily you've where said that. No, no, not necessarily where they play for their club. Mm -hmm. uh, do they play for their club is my criteria. And and where? No, to a degree. Where, if I'm picking a midfield, I want to pick someone that plays midfield for their clubs week in, week out. But there Foden is doesn't do but that. But there's does context he? to every there's context to every point. Mm. So being kept out of a team in that position by Kevin De Bruyne yeah. is justifiable because Kevin Agreed. De Bruyne is one of the best in the world. Agreed. So so with England, I think it's so obvious, right? It's so obvious. England's best midfield is clearly this. Declan Rice, Jude Bellingham, and then you can debate it. It's either James Madison centrally. Mm. Or it's Phil Foden centrally. It's not both. It's one yeah. or the other. It is never Phil Foden on the wing. It's obviously not James Madison on the wing. Mm. Like putting James Madison, calling James Madison up, giving him the opportunity and playing him on the wing actually totally undermines... Get, mate, I've just clocked it. I've just hit the nail on the head. Go on. Gareth Southgate is saying yeah. that Phil Foden can't play centrally because he doesn't play centrally for his club. Yeah. Yet he has picked James Madison as a winger. James Madison plays centrally for his club. So he's playing Madison out of position. Mm. He won't play Phil Foden out of position. Yeah. No, you, 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 are, you are right. The hypocrisy. There. there is a lot of hypocrisy there, but we have seen Madison out on the wing for Leicester. He's done it sometimes. I've seen it. I've seen Foden central. Mm. You know, I've seen it. I just think that it's so... Do you know what it is? It just reeks of cowardice to me. It reeks of trying to hide behind Pep Guardiola because for one reason or another... <laughs> Gareth Southgate has a situation where Phil Foden is sitting on a bench mm. watching Jordan Henderson play football. That's happening. that's wild. That's yeah, that, that 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 there is the best argument you you've put forth today. That there is wild. Yeah. If I'm Phil Foden and I'm watching Jordan Henderson in front of me, knowing that Declan Rice can do that sitting job that Henderson does, or Jude, but he didn't. He this didn't. is a weird thing. That's the crazy Jordan Henderson thing. was so far forward in that game. Mm. Like in that game against Ukraine, Jordan Henderson and look. You know how much I like Henderson, right? Yeah, you yeah. know how highly I rate him. Yeah. Higher than a lot of people. Higher than most. Higher than some Liverpool fans. A lot of Liverpool yeah, fans. fans. I think he's a good, good player at what he's good at. Mm. But, but you're not going to tell me he's better going <laughs> forward than Phil Foden. Better than anything. There's not, there's, there's, yeah, not yeah, better yeah. than anything anymore yeah. than Phil Foden. Do yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Like, yeah. there is never a place for Jordan Henderson in a team and not Phil Foden. Like, that's just ridiculous. It's truly ridiculous. I don't think I, I will a place. say this, though. I will say this. And I think you said this to me the other day when we were speaking about Henderson. Because I asked you... Why is Henderson still in the England shirt? And you said, Ade, I was in Qatar and I watched him play against Senegal mm. and in the Euros. And for some reason, he still does it. Yeah. Every single time, not every, that's a lie. Let me let me refrain from saying that. The majority of the time when I've seen Phil Foden put the England shirt on, it's not the Phil Foden that puts the City shirt on. I've yet to see that magic spark. He seems to have not taken the opportunities given to him. Saka has. Mm. Grealish to an extent has as well. We know that Jude and Rice have. Phil Foden hasn't. Could it not be managerial? How have they done it? 
They, How are they done? I, th- I think consistency. They're all young and immature, aren't they? I mean, Saka's the same age as Foden. I think a but bit Saka, younger. Saka, Jude's a kid. Saka had to play at fullback. He had to, but now you said to me the other day, Ade, a couple of years ago, that right-sided uh, forward position, it was Jaden Sancho's, it was Phil yeah, Foden, Mason and Mount it was Saka's. At one point. Mason Mount. Yeah. All of a sudden, Saka's at, no, it ain't no one's. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, mine yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. No, you know? I agree with that. And, and Foden hasn't nailed no, down a spot I think, yet. I think it's fair to say that Foden hasn't had the, the moment mm. that maybe Saka had or, or a lot of the other players that you mentioned. You know, Jude Bellingham has those swashbuckling performances. Declan Rice was integral to England get to a final. Like, yeah. like there were those moments. Sterling's had a few moments. Sterling, certainly, during the Euros. Moments. Like he's, he's out of favour at the moment, but certainly during the Euros. Phil Foden hasn't had those. And remember, Foden started that Euros. Remember, it was all the thing about the blonde hair, I'm going to be Gaz, and we all got behind it. Yeah. He started in front of Sancho and Saka mm. he got his opportunity first didn't take Phil it Phil Foden won a treble didn't take it I agree and, I know he won a treble mean. like it's the easiest thing to do as a manager not just just go like this like that team that won the treble in the way that Del Bosque did it with Barcelona right mm. Del Bosque at Spain did it with Barcelona just go look John Stones Calvin Phillips you can talk about I don't think Calvin Phillips should be anywhere near the yeah. England team but part of a treble winning team. Yeah, yeah. Calvin Phillips, John Stones, um, anybody that was involved, basically, anybody that was involved. That's maybe why he has Calvin team. Phillips in the squad. Yeah, maybe. Maybe why he has Calvin maybe. Phillips. Maybe. I just think I just think it's ridiculous. I also think that I don't know. What's his best position then, Phil Foden? So if you are Gareth Southgate, what's what's his number the best position is, final tomorrow, does Phil Foden start and where does he start? It, this is the midfield. The, okay. the midfield is Jude Bellingham, mm. and this is the tricky thing now because I used to think that Jude Bellingham was more defensive. It's I used to think that anymore. it was more like Rice and Bellingham yeah. as two sixes. I think that's a bit of a problem as well for Gareth, by the way. It's a great problem. That's a great problem, but I actually think, like you, because of his physique, I think we kind of put him down as a Gilberto Silva or Patrick Vieira type who's going to sit. He clearly doesn't do that. He's now a Lampard. Yeah, he's now he's now that, I mm. agree. But that's that's a great problem. It's a great problem to have. So, so ultimately, I think England's midfield should. By the way, be... Mr. Cameraman, I like just came on. It just kind of threw yeah. us a little bit. <laughs> but what? But I think I think that England's midfield should simply be Bellingham. It's hard because of where now Bellingham is so far forward. So it's Rice, which is why he plays Hendo. Rice as a one man. No, but we I have think to be Bellingham. Braver. I think I, I agree, but I think Bellingham's causing a problem for him because he wants to let Bellingham free, take the shackles off, go and do what you do for Real Madrid. But now I've got an issue because. You do that, where I thought you were going to do that. So I've got to put Henderson in there. Or I don't you, like it, or but that's do you, what he does. Hang on. I think that it's all very well. Jude Bellingham is doing that for Real Madrid, mm. and fair play to him. But Jude Bellingham is a very talented footballer who can operate in a number of ways. To do both. So maybe you say to Bellingham, okay, you are fantastic, mm. but you are... It's not that it's not that Phil Foden is better going forward than you. It's that you are better at defending than Phil Foden. Is he? Bellingham is better. Is he? I, I know think, he should. He, you think he is? I think he is. But is he? I think. I think if you ask Bellingham to be a box to box midfielder, he's more likely to do that. And Phil, Phil yeah. Foden won't be winning the ball on the edge of his own area. Yeah. I think Jude Bellingham is that be. midfield not too attacking? Yeah, too brave. Too brave. Too likely too to brave, win. Too brave. Too brave. Bear in mind the centre backs that are behind them. I think this is what's causing no, Gareth the, the biggest is, problem. The, the the only thing that stops England winning this tournament, yeah. there, there are. Three Achille, three problems. Go on. One of the centre halves. Yeah. Maybe the goalie, arguably. He's not world level. He's mm. not. He's not. Maybe the goalie. Yeah. He's not Edison. And Anderson. then undoubtedly the manager. Yeah. That's it. So everything else. Let's let's encourage everything else to fly. Like let's be brave. Let's go for the jugular. Let's go to Germany and try and win. Let's play our best players. Let's get the team scoring goals, attacking free flowing mm. football. Obviously that's not going to happen with Gareth Southgate. But the reason that England might not win the Euros. Head and shoulders about everything else. Okay, I'm going to ask you a question I asked you five minutes ago. Where does Foden play? He plays in the midfield behind Kane at the top of a at the top of a three. Okay. So Declan Rice at the base of the three. Not Madison in that position. No, I think it becomes a strict choice between Madison or Foden. Mm-hmm. It's not that Madison won't contribute. He yeah. certainly will. 60 yeah. minutes, that's the sub. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah. But also the other thing, you know when you're saying, you know, is it a bit, bit attacking, bit too adventurous, like maybe it. a bit cavalier? I like it. I like it. Realistically, when England play, how many times are England going to play when we aren't with the ball all the time? So, you know Jordan Henderson? Jordan Henderson's great when you don't have the ball. Mm. But when don't England have the ball? Yeah. England have the ball all the time. Yeah. Okay, we played Italy at, at Wembley. We didn't have the ball because Gareth Southgate conceded the ball to Jorginho. Mm. But 
We could have. We have the players at ball retention. Yeah. So you don't need Jordan Henderson. Let's go for it. Declan Rice is definitely good enough to marshal it on his own. John Stone's one of the best defenders in the world. But if you focus on the defence... I didn't think he was good against Ukraine, you know, mm. Declan. Didn't think it was no, good I didn't think Ukraine. anybody particularly played no, well. No, you're right, you're right. You're I mean, right. Jude Bellingham looked good for the first 10 minutes. And I that was it. But then England, you know, Kane's ball was brilliant. Yeah. I thought Carl Walker took the goal really well. Fantastically well. But I'm just Kane's so... A problem, I'm just you know? so, Kane's a bit of a problem. I'm just so annoyed at the hypocrisy of it all, Ad. I think that's the thing that's winding me up. Harry Maguire doesn't start for his club and yet starts all the time for England. You've got Harry Maguire starting all the time for England. You've got James Madison starting centrally and being played out of position by Southgate and that's okay. When we say Phil Foden should play centrally, you go, ask Pep. It's ridiculous. It's sackable. It's a sackable offence. Look, I, I think at the best of times you're harsh on Southgate. At the worst of times you're harsh on Southgate. I still think there is a Foden problem for England because I don't think it's the same player that plays. And they said this for years about Gerard. And you know, I, I had to kind of concede as well. And and Lampard. One stays, one goes. That was, that was it. One stays, one, stays, goes, one goes. It was who? that simple. Wasn't it? Who? Who does what? Who yeah. does it? Yeah, yeah. Um, for my my best England team, I don't know if Foden starts. Well, you think Madison then? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. I, yeah. I think I think Foden is clear, but if you think Madison, that's cool. But ultimately, it's the same. Hmm. Ultimately, it's the same. You don't think Madison starts on a wing, do you? No. Exactly. No, it's, so it's the same problem. Yeah, it's Greedish, it's Saka, it's Kane. Kane's a bit of a problem for Foden as well. I've noticed with no, Kane. You he tell gets, Kane push on, man. He's, I don't think there's anyone in the England team that is brave to tell him. The only reason that Kane came deep to create that goal was because there was nobody doing it. No one, no one with a bit of magic on there the pitch. Yeah. Uh, so wind me up anyway. Thank you so much for watching. I have used this as therapy. Mm. I'm just so angry with it all. Thank you again. I do really appreciate you watching. Make sure that you subscribe to Adiola Depot. The link is in the description below. We will see you all on the next video in a bit.